Kimberly, what made you think of getting a service dog? Um, so I have type 1 diabetes um, and I, I've had it since I was 11. Um, I never really had any serious scares, but um, once I started living alone, I would get low blood sugars in my sleep and high blood sugars. Um, I tried a couple different options and then I heard about there being an option of getting a service dog for it and I knew I wanted to do it. <laughs> so what are you hoping the dog will be able to, to do in addition to what you're already doing for diabetes? Um, so to be able to alert me before I get the lows or as it's about to happen instead of kind of waking up frantically and um, it's usually really scary when I wake up alone like that um, and having to make sure I have juice or something nearby and having to make sure I can actually get to the juice. But um, knowing that I, even just knowing I have something, someone else there with me um, is reassuring and just to know that he will wake me up and kind of let me know, hey, something's happening. Um, check yourself <laughs> yeah yeah and so you met solo this week yes what do you think of solo i love solo um we bonded right away he's a sweetheart and he cuddles just like i do and he's a little lover so i love him very much already <laughs> how is this uh, this uh, 10 days for you a roller coaster <laughs> yeah. it's been i've had great moments and really hard moments um Definitely, I came alone. Um, I know that you guys highly recommend bringing a support person, and as much as I tried, um, especially with COVID going on, I couldn't bring anyone. So I think being alone made it a lot harder, but um, it's totally worth it. I being able to hit a low and realize, you know, I can still get out of this, and I can figure this out, and I, I've got support people elsewhere, and I can call and just get some uplifting um, words from others. It was a great 10 days. Um, it's, I would recommend to anyone who does it to reach out if they have questions or concerns. Um, I think at the beginning, I was a little too prideful and thinking, oh, I don't need help, you know. It's in my hands now, I can take care of it. Um, and then suddenly I realized I don't have all the answers. And that's what you guys are there for, is to help us. And as soon as I started asking questions, everything up there. <laughs> yeah. Is there something that you feel people should know before going into this? Um, I think just be pre don't have expectations. Really, I think know that, know that a lot of it is your own work. Um, don't expect to get here and the dog to know exactly what to do. They're going to love you right away. They're going to know exactly what to do. It has the most to do with you training the dog with yourself and not just doing the training with them. It's, it's, it's this connection that's the most important and so I think yeah my highest recommendation would just be um, don't have expectations and be ready to really push through yourself. <laughs>